Now let's consider the graph of velocity versus time in the situation where we have acceleration. So the graph we're going to make, as I said, is velocity versus time. Let's take a negative acceleration, and how about a starting velocity that's positive? We'll give it a number, 10 meters per second. And let's take a starting position of uh, 5 meters. And we'll draw our graph. Time on the x-axis and velocity on the y-axis. And so now let's start at 5 meters. I'll put 5 meters here. And let's draw in our time intervals. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's enough. Now, notice that after one second, the velocity will decrease. And I already made a, a mistake here. This is velocity versus time, not position versus time. So why the heck did I put position there? What we really want to do is put the starting velocity there. The velocity starts at 10 meters per second. And let's actually give the acceleration a number. Let's say the acceleration is negative, I don't know, negative 2 meters per second. So that means after one second, we will decrease the velocity by 2. So let's draw that in. So after one second, the velocity is now at 8. And so after two seconds, the velocity will be at 6. And after 3 seconds, the velocity will be at 4. And I'll put in the 2 there. And so we can see it's a straight line. And don't forget that at time 0, the velocity was here at 10. And let me draw that line in. Oops, not too good there. And I also know it should cross 5 when it hits 0. Why do I know that? That has to be 5, not this. So let's move the 4 over here. Well, because after 5 seconds, and we can either think it out or we can use a formula, but with this acceleration, if it decreases 2 every time, after 5, the velocity should be 0. And you can use the formula that we learn in class, if you like, or you can just sort of count, count them down. And that equals 0. And therefore, uh, if I went further, if I went to 6, we would be at negative 2. And this line you know, goes as long as you want. Notice it's a line. And it should be, because recall that the velocity equals the starting velocity plus a t. And in this case, we can equate this to y. Oops, got things mixed up here. This would be on the y-axis. Time is on the x-axis. And a, well, that's the slope. And this is the y-intercept. So this is the formula y equals b plus mx, which is the equation of a line. Thank you.